In today's episode, I'm going to see if I can take my pinned spider and put it into this display case so we can show this puppy off to everybody that comes to our house. So for tools for this project, we've got a Christmas placemat just in case uh, some spider limbs go flying. Um, we've got this uh, hockey puck case. So this is just uh, kind of a, I think it's um, acrylic. Is this acrylic? It's glass stuff, fake glass. Anyways, this is just like a hockey puck case from like the container store or other places. And uh, what I'm planning on doing is we're going to uh, cut up a bit of this foam paper and then I want to glue the spider onto the foam paper and then we'll slide that foam paper into here, glue it in there and then we'll have this as a display case so the spider can be on display either uh, face uh, kind of uh, like it's climbing a wall or kind of just face down as if it's walking around on the ground. We've also got a glue gun so we can glue stuff together, possibly glue his body onto uh, the foam. And uh, I've also got some forceps to help me uh, manipulate his body. I honestly have no clue if this thing is gonna break. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna break on us. It, everybody is saying that they're super fragile. So we'll see what happens um, with this project. So he has been drying for probably three or four weeks actually. I'm gonna pull off the pins. So I wanna remove these and just be as careful as I can without like uh, bumping his body. We'll just throw those to the side for now, so. One of the things I was told by folks that will happen is that the abdomen will kind of deflate. And as you can see, it has uh, kind of deflated for sure on us here. You see how it's kind of deflated? To me, it still looks fine because the abdomen to me is not the main part of the show. I mean, for a spider that has a very large abdomen, yes, that'd probably be a deal breaker. But for me, I'm all about the uh, the legs and the body. That to me is more important. So all of that to me looks fine. Um, and one really cool thing before I finish pulling all these off, let's look at those eyes. They're almost like red. I don't know why those eyes are just so cool to me. easily slid. This might not be as hard as I think. I don't know. I just, I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to move this guy. Let's just use this pin here to demonstrate. I don't think this is going to be that hard. We just got to be really careful. See how he's moving there. But um, yeah, so we got the spider off. Um, we're gonna cut the paper now. It's, this is uh, this is just kind of like a foam paper. Or what craft would you call this? Foam. Yeah, this is a craft foam. So uh, we wanna we were gonna see if it fits inside of the hockey puck. These are my sister's hands, by the way. So beautiful. She got the good hand oh, genetics. Geez. Yeah, just cut a couple little uh, small circles out of that. Hey, that looks good. Yeah, so that'll look pretty good. Um, so um, I think the plan is we're going to take this, uh, take this thing out, try and get the spider on it, glue the spider on it, and then put this in and glue that into the case. So uh, as to how easy this is gonna be, I don't know. We're gonna do what we can. Holy cow, we're getting out the baking supplies. 
How, how are we going <laughs> to... <laughs> Baking supplies with uh, Becky. This is awesome. How are we going to glue him? I would say we want him the other way. I'd say we want him like this. Just get yourself a nice icing. What is this tool called? It's an icing thing. Hey, that looks awesome. I'm glad I got my sister here to help. So we're going to have to put it down and then we'll have to lift it up, put the glue underneath and glue him. Yeah, we're going to have one chance unless we do it and then we can... Give him a little pressure. Just do the best we can. This is our first time uh, doing uh, Becky's Insect Craft Corner. So we're going to flip it upside down. We'll see how well it's holding. That's scary. She's going to put some glue on there. Try not to get my hands. Now, now we gotta get a door. toothpick or something to press it. Nice. Yeah, good idea. Just put some pressure, get that glue stuck to the... Yeah, try not to touch the limbs as much as possible. Seal this puppy. So look at the awesome thing we were able to make because of Becky. <laughs> In the future, we're gonna be seeing Becky's Insect Craft Corner once we get 30 comments saying that they want it. <laughs> we'll see, but I am honestly really impressed with how this thing turned out. I, I did not expect to be able to actually get anything even on there, so. This is going to be my new little display. I can keep this thing. <clears throat> now a lot of the arachnid folks are going to say, hey, we need to preserve these in alcohol. And I know this isn't going to preserve it perfectly, but I mean, at least, you know, for a couple years to have this thing on my wall or to just have it around the house to show people to me is awesome. So this is all kind of just made up by us. If you guys uh, have any questions, let me know in the comments. I do have some ideas of how I could maybe even improve this more. But uh, we'll have to see if I can think of some more. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, please like, subscribe, and stay tuned next time where Big Adventures Start Small.